Let's do hybridization. Let's do a hybridization of the center atom. Okay, let me do a little cheat sheet for you. Groups. One, two, three, four, five, or six. What will it be? Six. And then hybridization is S, SP, SP2, SP3, ESP3, and D2, SP3. Uh, if you can count the number of groups, you'll know the hybridization. What are groups? Just like in Vesper, a group is a lone pair, a single bond, a double bond, or a triple bond. All count as one group. So a lone pair, a single bond, double bond, or a triple bond, all count as one group. A double bond is one group. A triple bond is one group. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, a lone pair is one group. In fact, a free radical, one dot, mm -hmm. uh, one dot is actually one group also. Okay. So the center has how many groups? Four, so it is. Yeah, this one's SP3. How about this one right there? Has five groups. DSP3, or some people write SP3D, it doesn't matter. So this one is actually the same over here. This is also DSP3. Five groups. This little table I made for you. You don't do hybridization on terminal atoms, okay, so don't worry about that. Okay, now let me draw this, it's actual shape. Let me draw this, what it would actually look like. Uh, I'll draw it down here. So one more time. I get all the right number of electrons here. Okay, there we go. So I redrew it. Okay, one thing we didn't do yet is the bond angles. So let's do it for this one right there. Yeah, it has to be 180. If it's trigonal bipyramidal has two different angles of interest, 90 and 120. But once you get rid of the three on the, uh, what should I call it, the trigonal planar plane, once you get rid of those three, it's just 90 plus 90 or 180. So this has a bond angle of 180. So this is this one. And those are ideal bond angles, not the actual bond angle. What's the bond angle here, ideally? It was given. It's given as 95 in the question, but what is the ideal bond angle? Uh, if you're in a different class, I might have had you remember the 104, but I just have everybody remember the tetrahedral bond angle, which is 109.5. So whatever your instructor asks you to remember. But according to your book, the ideal bond angle here is 109.5. So, the tetrahedral angle. Okay. Got all that? The very last thing. So you got bond angles, hybridization, shapes, dry blue structure. Last thing, is it polar? Or does it have a net dipole? A dipole moment? Is it polar? Yes or no? Is it polar? Yeah, it's not symmetrical. I don't know how your instructor taught you. Oops. But essentially, uh, if it doesn't look symmetrical, it is polar. That's it. If it doesn't look symmetrical, it's polar. Well, it, it looks like a this, right? It doesn't look like that. This is symmetrical, that's not. Right? Yeah, you're right. There is a plane of symmetry, but there's a, another plane missing. You need both. Yeah, yeah. It essentially, it has to have its net dipoles cancel out. Yeah. Okay, uh, I want to ask one more question on this. Formal charges. And I'll go back to this picture because I drew it a little nicer. What is the formal
formal charge will go through each atom right there. Yeah, right there. It has a formal charge of zero. Does anybody need me to summarize how you get formal charge? Raise your hand if you want a little summary. Okay, this is how you do it. You look at your periodic table. You find what column is iodine in? Seven. Seven. So then you, this, and this is not chemistry, okay? This is just a little trick. You just go around and count points of intersection. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven, seven, zero. It's supposed to be, but that was it. There's no what. It's supposed to be in column seven, right? Remember that number, seven. And you watch my pen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Zero. Okay, let's try another one. Okay, you didn't like that. Okay. Uh, let's try this one here in the middle. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Plus one. You see how that works? There's supposed to be seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's it. It's one short of seven. So it's plus one. Let's try this one. Watch my pen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's one more than seven. Same with this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this one's also zero. Okay? So those are all the things you have to do usually for your average Big Lewis question. Okay, do you need another example? Yes or no? No? Okay, we'll go on from Lewis. You can ask me afterwards if you want. Let's stop the tape. <laughs>